Hi everyone, Sam Myers here with Caleb Salibi from Caleb Services and HVAC School. Uh, Caleb, thanks for coming and hanging out today. Anytime, man. Yeah. Glad to be here. So what we're going to do today is talk a little bit about total system airflow. Uh, we'll first go into you know why we care about that, some different ways of doing it, and then we kind of have a new way of measuring total system airflow uh, with a blower door. Uh, it may not always be the most convenient way to do it, but it is possible if you have a blower door system. It's a calibrated van with a manometer, so you're halfway there, you just need a couple of extra parts. So from, from my perspective, when I look at total system airflow, I wanna make sure that that system is behaving the way it's designed in the load calc. Uh, so we can see what that total system airflow is in the load, and if we measure it on site, we can see maybe how far off it might be, if the fan's on the right setting, et cetera. So um, I know in some of my videos before, I've talked about uh, measuring pressure in bedrooms and uh, Sometimes it might be because there's uh, an imbalance in the flow there that uh, we may need to adjust a damper, but sometimes it's the whole system that needs to be turned down a few notches uh, by reducing that fan speed. So, uh, Caleb, what I miss? No, I think you hit it, man. Uh, I always tell you know technicians that total system airflow is, is really, it's like this starting point diagnostic. You wanna kind of get a, 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 an overview of how the system's operating as designed or if it's, you know, if you're there for the commissioning of the system to make sure that you dial in that design so that it's operating properly. Um, I always tell them, you know, it should give birth to further diagnostics like what you were talking about, making sure that, the, um, that there aren't zones that have too much pressure or they're not enough pressure. And we get all of that information right off the bat when we're testing total system airflow. And then that can give way to further digging in and um, finding the root cause of uh, some other issues. Cool. So what we're going to do today, I mentioned that we're going to use a blower door. Um, you may have seen one of my previous videos where we use a duct tester to measure flow at a return. Uh, but in some cases, using a duct tester or a flow hood may not be ideal because either you may not have enough fan power from the power flow hood, or you may not have enough coverage area on the hood itself, uh, especially if you have larger returns. So what we're gonna to do today, we're using an industrial uh, ventilation duct. It's a 24 inch diameter. Uh, we're hooking one end of that up to the blower door. On the other end, we fabricated a hood out of a drain pan and it's 34 by 36 inches. So we can get over some large size returns with that. Uh, we're using a 24 inch star collar on that, air sealing it with mastic, putting the other end of that duct there. Now we have a very large powered flow hood uh, that we can use with our DM32. Yeah, I'm excited. Cool. So now we'll, we'll check it out. Um, we'll actually use the ASIN uh, flow finder to maybe see how close it's gonna be. The ASIN uh, flow finder is a powered flow hood. Uh, it's the most accurate one on the market right now uh, that uses its own calibrated fan and manometer uh, to do exactly what we're doing here with the blower door, just on a smaller scale. Uh, with that flow hood, you have about 500 CFM uh, that you can measure with. Anything above that, uh, it's not going to work out too well. It's what's called a low flow hood. Uh, but now uh, we're going to see how we can pick up the slack with something a little bit bigger. So here's our uh, total system airflow set up here with the blower door. We've got a big fan, got the big duct, big capture area, so we'll be able to measure pretty much any size return that we see here. Um, but what we have going on, we're measuring the attic chamber here in the air tightness simulator. And we have the duct tester serving as our, air, as our air handler. So we have it depressurizing the chamber, which means that the opening that we're gonna be testing is acting like it's a return. So we're gonna try and pressure match that return with the blower door to see what the airflow would be. So Caleb, if you wanna go ahead and hit set pressure there on the gauge and then what we're going to do is select zero we're trying to get uh to pressure match what's happening there and we'll hit set and it's automatically going to hone in on that zero pressure on channel a we have a blue tube coming out of the manometer that's going right to the capture hood and so that's measuring the pressure that's happening right inside there at the return so that's seeking a zero pressure and then we just have our yellow tube coming in off the of channel B, going to the fan to read that fan pressure, uh, which, is giving us, which is giving us that flow. So we're getting to about zero now, and we're, we're floating right around 290 CFM. And notice that we do have the fan choked down to the B2 range, uh, which means 
we have a lot of room to go if we have a more uh, a more powerful return or a larger return that we want to test. There's a, a lot of fan capacity here to do that. Uh, but at 290, that has us on on V2, and so that's what we're still sitting around is somewhere between 285 and 295 CFM. So what we're going to do next is check behind this with the ASIN. Uh, powered flow hood, the flow binder, uh, and we'll see uh, how close they come. Uh, the two products work similarly. There's a calibrated fan and a high precision manometer, and they both work on what's called pressure matching, uh, whatever it is, whether it's a supply or a return, uh, to see what that flow is. So this is the ASIN flow finder. This is a powered flow hood. Um, so we're measuring this return now the same way we just did. And uh, again, this has its own fan and manometer built into it. And uh, what we've done after a little bit of experimenting, it has a couple of modes. Uh, we use the validate mode, there's validate and adjust. Uh, for what we're doing here, the validate mode seems to, uh, to be the most uh, reliable and consistent. So 278 this time which is still at about our 280 ballpark uh, that we got with our blower door. So we have a pretty good idea uh, between the two tools of what's going on here. Uh, and they're both doing the same thing. So you've seen a couple of different methods to, uh, to measure airflow. Um, the blower door is gonna be a good way to do total system airflow, that ASIN flow finder, not so much. Again, it's a low, uh, what we call a low flow hood. Uh, so that's gonna be good for uh, individual room returns, supplies, batmans, things like that. Um, but they do seem to agree uh, with each other as far as the readings that they get. Again, they're both a calibrated fan and a manometer. So um, again, this, this method for testing total system airflow, there's several out there. There's larger commercial flow hoods you can use. There's res uh, residential flow grids you can use. Uh, but if you already have a blower door, you're kind of halfway there. Um, you just kind of need to rig up the rest of it uh, if you want to use that tool to do that. So, um, uh, Caleb, do you have any, any last minute thoughts here? Yeah, I think we were both pretty happy with the results of this test. And like you said, if you already have a blower door, I mean, the rest of the materials and the, and the labor that went into it, you said was what, around 230 it's, Yeah, it's about 230 bucks that I spent on just the duct. But, you know, if you have a, a sheet metal shop, then you can kind of fabricate whatever type hood you want, or if you have a shop that you work with, you can kind of design your own hood. Um, and for whatever size returns that you usually work with, or the largest size turns you, uh, that you work with, so you're kind of at the, you kind of have some freedom there to customize whatever you want to do. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Yeah, it's cool. fun. Caleb, thanks again for helping out. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, man.